Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video I'll be taking a look at some video card stability test software so you can actually test the graphics cards to make sure they're not failing or maybe you've been overclocking them or something like that and you want to test the stability of them or maybe you're purchasing someone else's graphics card off them and you just want to give it a little quick stability test just to make sure there's no uh, colour lines coming down the screen after it gets hot or something like that. Someone may be overclocking it and buggered it up. So let's have a little look at the first program it's called Furbark. You can use this type of program to test the stability of the actual graphics card. You can run stability test or benchmarking. Okay, and what you need to do here is uh, let's just have a look at stability and uh, log GPU uh, temperatures. And also, you've got the uh, anti alias in here that you can set up, and also full screen mode and you want to actually do your settings on here. Now I'm not going to be using full screen mode here because obviously I won't be able to record it so what I need to do is come to custom mode and I'll just put a, a little setting in here and hopefully I should be able to show you the actual screen what it does. So this is the actual uh, program as I said we're going to click go here and this is the actual software. Now what that's doing as you can see it's really highly graphical and it's going to start to push the graphics card now you can see the frame rate up the top and this is great for doing a stabi uh, stability test of the graphics card and this way if this goes through for a short period of time then obviously you know there's nothing wrong with the graphics card and uh, you can actually safely say that it's not the graphics card that's failing or maybe if you're purchasing it again or you're actually doing overclocking you can actually use this type of software this is the software they all use so that's the uh, Fermark Let's have a look at something else. Now, pretty much MSI's uh, copied uh, Fermark. I think I think this is the uh, same type of software, but they're using MSI instead of um, the actual big furry donut type of thing. So let's have a look here. Um, let's just put in there. Uh, where are we? Custom settings. There we go. I'm going to be using this custom setting, and you can set it all up. I'm not going to mess around with all the anti-aliasing. It's only just to show you exactly what you can do. You can play around with it once you get it. And again, this is the same same thing, uh, but it's got MSI there. So I think they've actually copied the idea or using their software and just put their MSI logo in there. But again, it's highly detailed, highly graphical, and this will push your graphics card. Okay, and as you can see, it's starting to climb already. So that's uh, that's this uh, type of software. It's really great for um, testing the stability of all graphics cards, as I said. So let's just turn that one off and try another one that you can use. Now ATI have got a little tool that you can use as well. It's called ATI Tool. Let me just get rid of some of these. Okay. I don't think it's the 64-bit version so it's not really working as well as I want it to but it will do for this video anyway so this is the actual program it's called ATI tool and all you need to do really is uh, set it all up now the settings on here aren't working on this for some reason uh, I think it's not a 64-bit version as I said but these are the actual tool parts you've got there and you'll have all these probably working as well when you're using it okay you can set up so let's just have a little look at a 3D view there. As you can see, it's a little box spinning around. And it shows you down the bottom frames per second and so on. OK, and you've also got artifacts. And there you go. So you need to run these for longer, uh, longer than what I'm doing, really. I'm just showing you the actual tools that you can actually use to test the ability on your card, especially if you've got problems with it. So let's have a look at one more here. We've got um, video card stability. This is the other one. You can, I will put the links in the description so you can download them. And all you need to do here, really, is either to click on benchmark or start, and this will do some sort of a stability test for the card and you just leave that running and you can see the timer going there on the screen and this will do a few bits and pieces and these are just a few pieces of software that you can use they're not necessarily the best on the market you've got um, a load of different types of software that you can use okay so let's just stop that and do a benchmark and see what that is and the benchmark is uh, pretty much a big world I think it is yeah some sort of big planet and that's going round that's earth 
and you can see the yellow bar there going up and you can see the frame rate there okay and this will actually push the graphics card so you will know if the if the gra card is failing it will start to uh, uh, crash or something like that okay so let's just stop that there and we've got one more piece of software here uh, th these are useful if you're going to be overclocking I just wanted to cover these ones so let's just have a quick look we've got this one here OCCT it's not really a sort of a, a benchmark sort of a type software like a stability mm -hmm. test it's more of a, a piece of software that you can use let me just uh, get it started okay that's it that's starting now it's just loading up and this is the actual software here again these are greyed out because it doesn't like my 64-bit operating system for some reason but you can actually download the version the right version that you're using and it gives you all the information here okay so basically this is this type of software this is good for overclocking and stuff like that uh, you've got power supply mem test there and so on and you've got your on and off button to start it and it's got one hour you can customize it to whatever you like okay okay let's just uh, close that off I've got one more piece of software that I wanted to show you which is useful if you're into this type of stuff okay so here it is it's a GPU Z it's a great piece of software and this is you, you've got the uh, CPU um, you've got the CPU version and then this is the GPU version for the graphics card and as you can see it tells you the graphics card and it tells you exactly what what the actual card has got and there you go it tells you the series there and there's also loads of information that's very useful especially if you're overclocking and stuff like that and also you've got your sensors here this will tell you the temperatures the speed and everything else that may be interesting to you if you're overclocking this is not really for um, stability tests or stuff like that but you could use it for uh, temperatures to get the real good temperatures uh, of the actual card itself okay and there you go that's pretty much all of these pieces of software this is a really handy piece of software to have okay so my name is brian from brightech.co.uk if you've got any other important pieces of software remember head over to the forums and uh, post your uh, piece of software over here that you like using or maybe uh, you've got a problem with your computer post up in the forums as i said and we'll try and get your computer fixed for you thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support keep hitting that subscribe button bye for now